In this video, I'm going to share some most effective ways to train your Shiba Inu dog. My own Shiba Inu Jimmy is now two years old, and while I can't say he is perfect, he is doing pretty well overall from a Shiba Inu standard. We all heard that Shiba Inu is a difficult breed. And in this video, I'm sharing some training basics based on Shiba Inu's unique personality, eye contact, how to select the right reward, how to properly discipline your dog, and a bonus tip will be at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. You should have a good idea about how to train a Shiba Inu after watching this video. All key points mentioned are also listed in the description box below, so feel free to jump to the section that you are most interested in. You probably already know that Shiba Inu is one of the most stubborn breeds. What makes it even more challenging is that they are also very intelligent and self-served for the most part which makes it harder to train if you are a first-time dog owner. In a Shiba Inu's mind, he will listen or follow commands when it makes sense to him or when he wants to. It is almost impossible to force a Shiba Inu to follow you blindly because he is just not born to please people. As an owner, it is important to understand Shiba Inu's unique personality, so you won't be discouraged when your puppy does not listen to you on the first try. Instead, try to be very patient and consistent on your command. Your puppy will slowly but surely get it eventually. Be prepared, you need to repeat your command many, many, many times before you get the results you want. Keep in mind that for a new puppy who just arrived in your home, he is also learning and adapting as well. It takes time and patience to build mutual trust and bond with your dog. With Shiba Inu, once he accepts you as his pack leader, he is extremely loyal and can be affectionate from time to time in his own turn. Now, in order to win the trust of your Shiba Inu, this brings us to the next topic, eye contact. I mentioned this concept in my other video that talks about what you should know before getting a Shiba Inu, and I will leave the link down below if you want to check that out later. Why is eye contact important? You can view eye contact as the tunnel of communication between your dog and you. Without proper eye contact, you are like talking to a wall and your Shiba Inu is less likely to listen. How do you train eye contact? The easiest way is whenever you call your dog's name or whenever he looks at you in the eye, you praise him dramatically or give him his favorite treat so he knows looking at you will bring him good things and he will do it more often. For me, when I play fetch with Jimmy, in order for me to throw the ball, Jimmy must look at me first, not the ball. He must look at me before I throw the ball. It was hard for him at first, but eventually Jimmy gets it and he will look at me every time when he wants me to throw the ball. Jimmy loves playing fetch, so this is a good motivation for him to practice eye contact more often. This brings us to the next idea, choose your reward wisely. Every dog is unique. As an owner, it is important for you to learn and understand what motivates your dog the most. Is it treats, playtime, or maybe a short walk outside? In order to train your dog effectively, you must have the right tool in hand so you can use it to your advantage. Test it out what does your puppy like the most and give him what he loves 
will make the training a lot easier. Remember, Shiba Inu does not follow your command blindly, and he typically chooses to follow you for a high-value reward that makes sense to him. Make sure you know what that is for your dog. I learned from my dog Jimmy that even with treats, he gets picky, and not all treats are created equal. There are high-value and low-value treats, and you can reward your dog differently based on the difficulty of each command. For example, when your puppy does his very first sit after hearing your command, you reward him with a high-value treat because you want to make a strong impression that his behavior is strongly encouraged. After many repetitions of practicing sits, and when he gets very familiar with a specific command, you can start to decrease the reward value. Same concept goes with any other command as well. The fact is, training your dog is not all rainbow and roses. And one of the most commonly asked question is how do we properly discipline our dog when he exhibits undesirable behavior? Before we discuss about some potential tools to discipline your dog, you should also look for reasons why your dog is acting out. Did you provide him enough exercise throughout the day? Does your dog need to go out potty? Most of the destructive behavior a dog exhibits are caused by either boredom, or he is just looking for some attention from his owner. If he is biting your shoe or furniture, make sure you provide him safe chewing toys to chew on, and rotate those toys regularly. Yes, it is important to rotate your toys. Because a Shiba Inu gets bored quickly, so when you are not playing with him, make sure you store the toys away to keep the shelf life of those toys longer. If your dog is just acting out, and you want to discipline him, what we use with Jimmy is time out. We use time out and ignore when Jimmy exhibits bad behaviors. Time out means not only that you disengage in the current activity, but you place your puppy in a closed and confined area, such as your bathroom or laundry room, for about one to two minutes. This will help the puppy calm down and reset. I have found that time out is very effective for Jimmy when he was growing up. Jimmy is now over two years old. But occasionally, we still time him out when he gets too rough playing, or when he bites on things he should not have. Another technique is ignore your dog immediately. More precisely, disengage in all activity. If your dog starts to bite you, or he gets out of control, how to ignore your dog? You can simply loudly tell him no. And immediately turn your back on him for at least thirty seconds, or until he calms down. Both time out and ignore works well with our dog Jimmy. Although Shiba Inu is not eager to please its owner, he does like to receive attention. So when you ignore him immediately after his bad behavior, he will get the message that he was biting too hard. The key is that you have to punish him immediately once your dog starts to do something bad, right when you see it bite your sofa, or right when he bites your leg. Place him in time out and verbally say time out as you bring your puppy to the enclosed area with the door closed. Here comes the bonus tip. And probably the most important one for a Shiba Inu owner: be patient. Knowing that it takes time for both you and your new puppy to get used to one another, and it also takes time for a puppy to learn all your cues and body languages. Shiba Inu is stubborn, 
but intelligent. So if you treat him well, he will know that follow your lead will bring him good things, and he likely will be more willing to follow the rules. It also takes time for a dog to build a strong bond with his human, but once he established the concept of you being his pack leader, a Shiba Inu is very affectionate and cuddly. In his own term, of course. If you want to know more about how to raise a well-balanced and happy dog, click on the video on the screen to learn more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.